Hi guys, welcome back to Top Tips Graphics. It's me Ramis in front of you for having you the new tutorial regarding the sublimation printing patterns. So guys, today we are going to discussing about how to create the sublimation pattern or the templates for the trousers and how to apply the designs over that patterns. So let's go through the system. Let's start. This is the mock-up that we are going to make the pattern and applying the designs over that. So let's make a look. First of all, let's open the Adobe Illustrator software as usual. Then here I am opening the size chart list of the trousers. This is the size chart of the trousers or the track bands. Here you can see the dimension of the all the sizes from the extra small to double extra large. In this mock-up, the letter A represents the waist of the trousers, that is the complete circumference of the waist. And the letter B represents the length of the final trousers. As an example, here we are going to create the sublimation pattern of the medium sized trousers. So for that, let's create a new page. So here I am creating a page with the dimension of 150 cm width and 200 cm height as shown here. Then go to the size chart page and let's copy the chart to our new work pages. Then here we are going to make the pattern of the trousers in medium sizes. Here you can see the waist of the medium size as 80 to 83 centimeter and the length as 105 centimeter. So this is the final dimension of the trousers. So when we are making the pattern, we have to calculate from this dimension. For that, take the calculator and let's calculate the width of the pattern. Now we are going to make the right leg side of the pattern. That is, it will include the back and the front portion of the right side of the trouser pattern. Firstly, we have to create a rectangle. So for the medium sizes, here it's given 83 cm waist in relaxed mode. Also, here we are calculating half of the pattern. So reduce the 10 cm from the total waist in relaxed mode. So 83 minus 10, 73 will be the width of the rectangle that we are going to make. Then let's calculate the length of the rectangle. Here it's given the length of the final trousers as 105 cm. So on the top area we have to add 5 cm for stitching and on the bottom 1.25 cm for stitching. So we have to take the length of the rectangle as 111.25 cm. Then let's create a rectangle by using the rectangle tool with the width of 73 cm and the height of 111.25 cm. Here I am just applying an opaque color for the rectangle. Then let's open the ruler by the short key Ctrl R for the dimension and applying the guidelines. Then make the guidelines on all four sides of the rectangle as shown here. Once you make all the guidelines, just unlock the guidelines by clicking the right mouse button of the mouse and selecting the unlock guidelines. Then open the preferences by the short key Ctrl K and change the keyboard increment into 33 cm. So this will help you to move the object to 33 cm while pressing the arrow key one time in any direction. Now by using the selection tool, just select the top guidelines and press the down arrow key one time. So the guidelines will move towards down of 33 cm. Then by using the selection tool, just to select the rectangle and take add anchor point tool by using the short key plus key button and add the anchor point in the right intersection of the rectangle with guidelines. Again select the same guidelines and move downward to 4 cm by using the preferences with the short key control key. Lock the guidelines and again add the anchor point on the left side of the rectangle on intersection point by using the add anchor point tools. Now here we got 6 anchor points in this rectangle. Then select the direct selection tool and select the top left anchor point of the rectangle. After that just to take the preferences by the short key Ctrl K and change the keyboard increment into 9 cm and press the right arrow key one time. So the anchor point will move towards the right to 9 cm as shown here. 
Then by using the direct selection tool, just select the top right anchor point and take the preferences and change the keyboard increment into 5 cm. And then move anchor point towards left by pressing the left arrow key one time. In the same way, just to select the bottom left anchor point and move towards right with a distance of 18 cm. Also, by the same way, move the right bottom anchor point towards left to 14.5 cm as shown here. Unlock the guidelines and select the bottom guidelines, then change the keyboard increment to 2.5 cm and move the guidelines towards up by pressing the up arrow key one time. After that, lock the guidelines and add the anchor point on the both intersection point of the object with the guidelines. Then by using the direct selection tool, just to select the left anchor point and change the keyboard increment to 1.25 cm. Then move the anchor point one time towards right. In the same way, let's move the right anchor point towards left by 1.25 cm. And then again create a guidelines on the top of the pattern as shown here. After that, create a rectangle by using the rectangle tool with the width 9 cm and height 25 cm. Then by using the selection tool, keep the rectangle at the top left corner of the guidelines as shown here. After that, just to select the pattern and choose the add anchor point tool. Then add an anchor point on any portion of this left slope area as shown here. Then by using the direct selection tool, select the newly made anchor point and move to the right bottom corner of the rectangle like this. And then just to delete the rectangle. And then again create a rectangle with the dimension of 5 cm width and height 21 cm. Keep this rectangle at right top corner of the guidelines. Then by using the add anchor point tool, just add the anchor point on any position of the right slope area as like this. Then by using the direct selection tool, just move the anchor point to the left bottom corner of the rectangle like this. Delete the rectangle. Then by using the direct selection tool, just select the left newly added anchor point. Then choose the anchor point tool by the short key shift C and select the left anchor point and move towards up until the bottom path touching the bottom guidelines as shown here. Now we have to do the same process over the right side. For that, just to create a guidelines at the right corner as shown here. Then just to select the above anchor point by using the direct selection tool and choose the anchor point tool and select and move the right anchor point towards down until the node touching the guidelines as like this. Now let's go to the left side bottom slope area. Here just add an anchor point at the approximate middle of the left slope using the add anchor point tool. Then by using the anchor point tool, create a long path on that anchor point which is almost half of the entire slopes. After that, just to select the anchor point by using the direct selection tool and change the keyboard increment to 4 cm. Then move that anchor point towards inside by pressing the right arrow key one time to 4 cm. Now let's do the same process over the right side bottom slopes of the trouser pattern. Just add the anchor point on the middle of the slope. Then using the anchor point tool, make a path with the length of approximately half of the slope area. Change the keyboard increment to 3 cm and select that anchor point using the direct selection tool and move towards inside 3 cm by pressing the left key arrow key one time. So guys, here we completed almost right leg side portion of the trousers pattern. Now let's mark the middle portion of the right leg trousers pattern. For that, just to draw a rectangle with the width of half waist portion of the pattern as shown here. Then make a guidelines on the middle of that rectangle. This will be the middle portion of the side of the trouser pattern. Just remove the rectangle and here I am drawing a straight line on the middle of the pattern by using the pen tool as shown here with the stroke. Now let's mark the cutting area for the side pocket of the trousers. 
For that, just unlock the guidelines and change the keyboard increment to 10 cm. Then by using the direct selection tool, just select the top guidelines and press the down arrow key one time. So that guidelines will move 10 cm down. Then just mark the intersection point of that guidelines with the middle line of the pattern with the stroke. By using the pen tool. Again create a guidelines on the top of the pattern and move towards down with the length of 28 cm by using the keyboard increment changes. Here also give a mark on the intersection point of the new created guidelines with the middle line as shown here. So the portion in between these two marks will be for the pocket area of the trousers. So guys, here we completed the left half portion of the trousers including the back and front portion of the left side leg. Just to delete all the guidelines by unlocking the guidelines and make it a clean page. This is the side middle line of the left leg side with the pocket area. And the portion with the smaller curves is the front side of the left leg. And this portion having the bigger curves is the back side of the left leg trouser pattern. Here I will just mention you the each part of the trousers pattern so that it will be more easier for you to understand the each portions. So here we completed the left side of the trousers. So now we have to create the right side. So for that just copy the left side and reflect completely by clicking the right mouse button as shown here. So here we created the right part of the trousers pattern also. Let's change the label as per the right parts of the trousers as shown here. So guys here we finish the complete pattern of the trousers in a very easiest and the simplest way. Now let's look how to apply the designs over this pattern. For that first of all let's open the mockup that we are going to apply the design. So this is the pattern so just to copy this pattern to our work area as shown here. Then let's enlarge this one. So then let's make one side pattern first for that just to copy the right side pattern to bottom as shown here. Just to delete all the labels in the pattern. And then here you can see the mockup color is in blue color. So just select the pattern by using the direct selection tool and pick the color from the mockup as shown here by using the pick tool. From this mockup we can see that the design in black stripes is starting from the end of the elastics that is at the top of the pocket area. So just to make a guidelines at the top of the pocket area as like this. For easy making the design, let's adjust the size of the mockup as per the pattern as shown here. Then by using the different illustrator tool, you can make your own design as per the mockup. Here I am just mainly using the pen tool for creating these designs. So here it's completed the applying of designs over the right side leg of the trousers. Now let's place the logo over that pattern. Here I am just opening our top tips logo and copy to our work area as shown here. For placing the logo over the trousers we have to keep the middle of the logo close to the bottom pocket area as shown here. Then change the keyboard increment to 4 cm and move the logo towards left by pressing the left arrow key one time. So guys here we completed the applying of designs over the right side pattern. So just to copy this, this one to a part. For getting the right side pattern just to reflect the copied part by clicking the right mouse button as shown here. After that let's replace the logo with the number 10 with the same position of the logo in the other side as shown here.
once you completed the, all the designs just to remove all the marking in the pattern so guys here we completed our topic how to create the sublimation pattern for the trousers in adobe illustrator and how to apply the designs over that also guys if you need the soft copy of the trousers pattern in all the sizes you can purchase it from the top tips graphics for that details just send the email id with the subject sublimation trousers pattern to the email id toptipsgraphics at gmail.com if you enjoy this video don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon for getting the latest notification thank you